The king, our Emperor Carloman, hath been for seven full years in Spain. Keep and castle alike went down, save Zaragoza, the mountain town. The king Mercilius holds the place who loveth not God nor seeks his grace. He prays to Apollo and serves Mahound, but he saved him not from the fate he found. Through Roncis Vale the march began, Augier the Baron led the van, for with him was neither doubt nor fear, since Roland rested to guard the rear. With twenty thousand in full array, there's the battle, be God of their stay. Full fifteen leagues did their tread resound. High were the peaks, the valleys deep, the mountains wondrous, dark and steep. Sir Olivier to the peak hath climb, looks far on the realm of Spain therefrom. He sees the Saracen power arrayed, helmets gleaming with gold inlaid, shields and hauberks in serried rows, spears with pennons that from them flow. He may not reckon their mighty mass, so far their numbers his thoughts surpass. Furious grows the fight, Frank and heathen in blows exchange. These defend, those assail. Lances broken and bloody fail. Frank, ensign, and pennon are rent and torn. The Franks of their fairest youth bereft. Who will look on mother or spouse no more? What skilleth sorrow if succor fail? In Roland's sorrow his wrath arose. Hotly he struck at the heathen foes. Not left he one of a score alive. Walter slew six, the archbishop five. The heathens cry, what a felon three. Look to it, lords, that they shall not leave. He, dastard is he who confronts them not. Craven is he who lets them depart the spot. Their cries and shoutings begin once more. And from every side on the Franks they pour. Count Roland, in sooth, is a noble peer, Count Walter, a valorous cavalier. The Archbishop Turpin, in battle proved and tried, each struck as if night there were none beside. From their steeds a thousand Saracens leap, yet forty thousand their saddles keep. They dare not approach them near, but hurl against them lance and spear. Pike and javelin, shaft and dart. Walter is slain as the missiles part. The archbishop's shield in pieces shred, riven his helm and pierced his head. His corslet of steel they rent and tore, wounded his body with lances four. His steed beneath him dropped with all. What woe to see the archbishop fall. When Turpin felt him flung to ground, and four lance wounds within him found. He swiftly rose, the dauntless man, to roll and looked, and nigh him ran. Spake but, I am not overthrown. Brave warrior yields with life alone. He drew Almace's burnished steel, a thousand ruthless blows to deal. In after time, the emperor said, he found four hundred round him spread. Some wounded, others cleft in twain, some lying headless on the plain. Count Roland combateth nobly yet, his body burning, bathed in sweat. In his brow a mighty pain, but he yearns of Carl's approach to know. He lifts his horn to sound the call, but oh, how faint and feeble a note to blow. The emperor stopped, stood full still. My lords, he said, we are faring ill. This day be Roland my nephew's last. Like dying man he wins that blast. Onward, who would aid for life must press. Sound every trump our ranks possess. Peal sixty thousand clarions high, the hills re-echo, the vales reply. Tis now no jest for the heathen band, tis Carl, they cry, the mighty emperor nears. 
The heathen said, we were born to shame. This day for our disaster came. Our leaders and lords in battles lost, and Karl at hand with his marshaled host. We hear the trumpets of France ring out, the cry, Montjoy, their rallying shout. Roland's pride is of such a height, not to be vanquished by mortal might. Curl, we are missiles and hold aloof. And the word they spake, they put in proof. They flung with all their strength and craft, javelin, barb, and plumed shaft. Roland's buckler was torn and frayed, his cuirass broken and disarrayed. Yet entrance none to his flesh they made. Then from the field hath the heathen flown. Roland remaineth on foot alone. That is fine work. Thank you. Thank you.